Anyway, Usami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Love. Ah, that's right. Well, of course I didn't forget. Hi, love. This is it. Wait, what? Is that a... Um, what? Don't be upset. I prepared one for you all, so don't worry. That, um, is that, what is that? What is this? <laughs> it's an Us Usami strap. Uh, an Usami strap? What? If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical Miracle Girl Usami. I'm a teeny bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Um, mm, no thank you? <laughs> Isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Aww. Man, I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everybody received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey, hey you can't taint nature with trash. <laughs> See, even you think they're trash. <laughs> Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Hmm, you have something else? Um... Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. Uh-oh. The motive. Remember the motive? Oh, the motive. What does it mean here, though? I don't know. A motive? Hey! That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed. <laughs> Like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correct! Whoa. Is it a... <laughs> is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful. Anyway, excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My loins are still full of poison, and I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Why does this guy exist? I... Why? <laughs> Wait! Knock it off, Teru Teru! Oh, right. oh, your tenderloins? You betcha. What? Just ignore him, Sonya. I got it! If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Uh. Ah, a campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill! Let's find a hoop snake and kill it! Oh god, you what? Serious? <laughs> Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. <laughs> it seems everyone has different ideas, but we're gonna be at the ocean. Then first. Ta da! Ta -da! This is what it's all about! This is a swimming bag? What? Love, love. Correct! Love, love! Whoa! Whoa! That means... That's right! I have swimsuits for everyone! Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? Yes. It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just, if you want to go swimming, you can! There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be this so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Huh? Yeah, I think you're wrong. Huh? That's right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my loins agree. See? No, I will not look at your loins. What? Your tender loins. I understand. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so ridiculous. Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? Alright! Let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Usami. And ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you going to do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island? There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island? Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? <laughs> hmm. I question everything. Also, how come you didn't run to go get your swimsuit? I thought she wanted to go swimming. What the hell? Anyway, uh, should we talk to... I'm just going to talk to Bia. He seemed like the most intriguing here. You're not going to swim, Bia Kuya? Not of course not. That's enough. However, don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. Different reasons? <laughs> you cannot accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? Coward? 
What? That Usami thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you going to swim? I simply don't like ocean water. It's too salty. That's not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. True, but I don't like swimming either, and I'm a grown-ass man. You're not going to swim? Sleepy. I'm, like, really, really sleepy right now. I see. It'd be a problem if you fell asleep while you were swimming. I'd probably drown. More like definitely drown. But to be sleepy in a situation like this, she sure got some bold nerves. Alright, what about you, douche cake? He's probably just like, fuck you, I'm not swimming. Don't talk to me. Swimming blows, but talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own fucking business. Man, so blunt. Maybe I'll just do that with him. I'll just fucking keep, like, adding in curse words for no reason. Anyway. Ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned! As Usami said that, I turned around and... I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Hey, look! Yahoo! Whoa, dude. Alright. Look at the fucking buff guy, though. He's yoked as shit. Not really surprised there. Fat boy's got his lotion. And his fucking Audi belly button. That one girl's already swimming back there in the back. Um, I guess I would be remiss if I didn't mention the booty over there on the right. Whoa, dude, even the dude on the left, is the, the animal guy is over there on the left, like, behind the words. Interesting. Yay! The sea! Uh, the water is so cool! It feels great! Oh, uh, too salty! This water's too salty! It's not going easy on me! Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? Oh, God. Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Hey, rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. <laughs> okay. You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? I don't know. It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun? I... I... <laughs> yep! I'm very happy! Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy! I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. <laughs> Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. Okay. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it. Huh? Hajime, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to seriously enjoy myself and have fun. All right. Hey, you guys! Hey, don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Suddenly the sky, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Uh huh. Uh, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry. That was sorry. That was that was that was me supposed to say those words. It was sunny a few minutes ago. What? 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 What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way something like this should be shouldn't be ha wait oh something like this shouldn't be happening. Sorry, that was two different sentences. Don't string them together without a breath. And at that exact moment, just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. It. Oh hell no. Uh, mic check. Mic check. Oh shit. Yes, he's back. Oh, I'm gonna need some water for this. Although he's probably gonna be all voiced right now. Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's, as if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> Surprise? You were totally surprised! I know I am. But not really. I was hoping you'd show up, bro. Right? 
Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Could it be? This voice. If this is, oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. Oh no. It's all up to me. Oh, hey, wait. Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Hmm. It's best if we go to Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Hey, wait! But what about everyone else who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. <laughs> Shit! Just what the hell's going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. <sighs> what is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Holy shit, dude. What about you, little girl? Aww. Boo! There's just too many Mr. Krabs! Bye. Fine, I'll just step on them later. You crabs better run while you still can. She's a murderous little girl, dude. It's kind of disconcerting how murderous she is. She wants to murder all these little baby, baby animals, dude. She wants to murder the ants, she wants to murder the crabs, she wants to murder everything. As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> yes! Eh? Hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> oh yeah! It's my boy! He's back to torture us some more! Ah oh, man, I knew it, I knew it man. Something had to turn to twist this shit. Yes! There he is. It's my boy. Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! Long time no see, guys! I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! Oh boy. Monokuma appears! Ahem, now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame. This is so friggin' lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than the lamest lame sauce! <laughs> oh wait, lame sauce? Is that tasty? Hey, hey. Just as I thought, I was- it was you! Okay, so the problem is now there's two of them talking to each other. <sighs> Man, how am I gonna distinguish the two, the two of them? Because they're probably gonna be in the whole game now. I don't know. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence. Ah, shut up! Hey, I'm livid, um... you know, and I'm about ready to barf thanks to you, your lork lukewarm attitude. Just what's with this heart-throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey. This just isn't, this is, oh, just this ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. What are you thinking? You've got to make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. <clears throat> what everyone wants to see is... <laughs> other people's misery and despair. What the hell is with this stiffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What, what, what is going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma's here, but as long as I have this magic stick... Yeah! Opening! Oh, God. Here it comes. Oh boy. They're fighting for the magic stick, dude. Somebody's underwear went flying. Whose ice cream cones are those? How many pinky pairs of underwear are you wearing? Oh shit, he broke the stick. Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> this is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart. <laughs> Stop it! Hey, hold still! This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? No! That's a no-no! That's a big no-no! Ta-da! All done! <laughs> he fucked her all up, dude. What? What is this? 
No. Nice. I'm not supposed to look like weird like this. Change me back to normal. What's this? My, my, defying your big brother's fashion sense? Is Manami a little troublemaker? Hey! Big brother, Manami? My little Your current sister. position is too wishy-washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister, Manami. <laughs> or Monomi, anyway. Oh, it's only an external setting, after all. Hey! Why do I have to be your little sister? Well, why? Big sister, then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? Hmm, like that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Holy so, God. that's how it's gonna be, Manami. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Ooh. How even the display changed to Manami. I won't <laughs> oh, over there on the left it says Manami now. That's funny, instead of Usami. <laughs> hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shut up! Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? No! It hurts a lot when you punch me! <laughs> it hurts a lot when you punch me. <laughs> what? Wow. How about that? Now you've learned your lesson! What is this, man? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? That's like completely insane, man. <laughs> if only I had the magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> Boohoo! It's your fault is for leaving yourself open. Even a one second opening is life threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, what's with this stupid performance? Huh? Who friggin' knows? But it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? What, what is this? What's happening, man? Uh, huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know? How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Host Peak Academy. This is Monokuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway. Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. Yeah. From this point <laughs> onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Yes! Thank Jesus. I mean, not that I want these people to kill each other, but that's what I was anticipating when I started this game. Although I wasn't expecting it to take place on an island, which is amazing. Anyway, scratch my ear real quick for a sec. Alright. Awesome. Killing school trip? A school trip where everyone gets along and has no stimulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey! You guys hey. agree with me, right? Uh, yeah. I just fucking... I, I just... I was thinking the same thing, honestly. Thank you so, me. let's begin our killing school trip. Do Naturally, you guys are the contestants. <laughs> killing <laughs> contestants? I won't forgive you. What are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Huh. Kia! Oh, 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 oh. Ow! It hurts a lot when you kick me, too! Yeah, kind of like punch, but with a foot instead. Monami, Jeez, your brain job. sure is tiny, Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. In second manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> Now then, explain. we got off topic for a while, so let's back get, go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> oh, oh, what, what do you mean, killing school trip? What are you Isn't saying? it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other. Well... Kill each other? I see. Are you kidding? Kill each other? What? Wait, no way, no What do you say, man? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules! Yeah. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <sighs> class trial? That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. Here we go again. Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, 
And if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will get punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, there's all that's all there is to it. In other words, which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? Yeah, you keep repeating the word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. That is execution. The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw. I can't wait. Hmm. Hmm. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, you can kill as you please. It's an all you can murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That's, That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it, don't fuck with me. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, but be no. careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I don't I believe any believe. of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Uh, who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait just a minute. What? Why do, you ha why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Uh, there is? Hold on. Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I, have no I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! Whoa, dude! Whoa. Whoa, dude. She's scary as fuck. Hello? What, a fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. <laughs> who would you dare, who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Ah, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. If you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey. Force? What are you going to do? Surge, O oh gods who dwell between light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mono beasts. Mono beasts? What? What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> what? Oh, wow, dude, they're huge. What the fuck? I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I arrived on this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Yeah, it's fucking... There's some goddamn Decepticons in our face, dude. What the fuck? <gasps> what is this? Why did the statue move? Wrong. That's no statue. They're mono beasts. Ah! Monster! Hey. No, I just said they're mono beasts. The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games, and that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No. This can't be. This is just too weird. Don't tell Am I me. having a nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare, he says. <laughs> he just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Unbelievable. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. 
How stupid. Ignorant cavemen are better than you all. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone. Please stay back. I will protect everyone. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Huh? What's this? I know! This is nausea! Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke! Alrighty then, it's decided! You'll be my example to everyone! Uh-oh. He's gonna murder the bunny? Oh, shit. Goodbye, bunny! Integrated her ass. What? What is that? <laughs> Whoa, dude! <laughs> look at this! Look at this! Oh. <laughs> look at this portrait! What the heck? Oh, blah, 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 blah. It's all in the first stage, and Minami is already dead. What? Is that a demon, or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. Sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. That's right! This is what I wanted. This feeling of despair, given the example, was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now. Now then, I believe I've made my point. Have you? Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Because I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere, won't work on me at all. Hmm. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There, there the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then, enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. What the fuck, man? After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beast vanished before our very eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if, if, if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's what just happened? Um, um... I won't believe. I won't believe. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something like that impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those monobies, or whatever they're called, are machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be... who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey, who is it? Who? Uh, uh, <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyways. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop talking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but... We don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Ourselves. Ourselves, indeed. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. 
That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that killing that a killing may never occur, but even if I, even I'm no different. So can I truly be conf can I be truly confident that something like this that isn't going to happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. Is in this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything, even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. Oh boy. That day became a day like unlike any other, a day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day, a very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Man, another intro? That's because the first intro was not proper. This is the proper intro. Here we go. Wow, only two and a half hours in. The proper intro. <laughs> Here we go. Now we're talking. Fun times await. Oh boy. Jimmy Hinata. Hey, look, Galaga. Chiaki Mananami. Sonia Nevermind. Kane Oware. Yoko Saijoni. Gundam Tanaka. Kazuchi Soda. Mahiru Kuzimi. Teru Teru Hanamura. There's the elevator again, too. Oh my god, they're gonna have the elevator? Crazy. Nagito Komaida. Nekumaru Nida. Ibuki Miyoda. Peko Peko Mayama. Is that everybody? Nope. Mikan Sumiki. Fuyuko Kaziru. And Byakuya Togami. Man. This is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be super fun. I can't wait. Let the games truly begin. Welcome to Dongan Island. Panic at the Heart Army School Trip. And, well, everyone's still alive for now. For now. We get the pink blood again. Yay. <laughs> to be continued. Well, should we get started on the next part? I mean, I guess we have to. Obtain a present. Yay. You obtain a present. Fosho broken wand. Oh. It's a Fosho broken wand. It's definitely broken. It's for sure broken. Yeah, I guess we'll save it, because good lord, that was insane. Okay, let's keep going. Rule number five. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all students surviving. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Got it. If the blackened is not exposed, the remaining students will, will be executed. As a reward, their surviving blackened will be forgiven for their crime and allowed to be leave the island... The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. So they, same rule as last time, but this time it's actually in the book right away. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. Okay. Uh, so that rule exists. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added at the discretion of the headmaster. Exactly like last time. Okay, well then, this is going to be fun. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was now my... I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this is undeniably, undeniably real. No matter how much I did want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, 
it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on to the first night, a night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Chapter Own, Destination Despair. Okay, I wonder how long it's going to take for someone to get murdered. Ding dong, bing bong. Here we go. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer... Then it sucks to be you. <laughs> but if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye. Oh boy. Damn, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Yes, a cottage. And we already know how this works. There's one for everyone. We all got our faces on them. I assume we should just head straight for that. So let's just do it. Hey, look, a cottage. I did it. It's got my face on it. Cottage Hajime Hinata. Alright. We're in there. Damn it! As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silent to myself, I buried my head in my arms. <clears throat> I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone... I realize there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Ah! There, there's my scream. A scream erupted from my mouth. Ah! It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Ah! Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? Ah! I began to lose my voice and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. IQ. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears. This is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? You wanted to go here, bro. Anyway, I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep. If only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if by chance I managed to wake up the next day... It would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Oh boy. Monokuma Theater! Yay! I missed you so! Ahem. Danganronpa 2! Yay! To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair! Thank you very much! To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair from a friend! You always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, but I'll give you the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. 
So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in a heart-throbbing action to your heart's content. Now then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest. Oh, I plan on it, Monokuma. You didn't have to do this, but you know what? I appreciate it anyways. I appreciate you making me be enthusiastic, even though I already was. All right, ding dong, bing bong. I think we made it through the first night. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. You know it. That's what I do every day, bruh. So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now I should go outside? No, no, no! You're not allowed to go out! Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons! Fun reasons? Hey, um... I want you to find my stuffed animals! I got ahead of myself and made too many! Here. But I thought it'd be a waste to just throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. If you please. They're scattered all over various areas, so just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Because I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you find let you out until you find it. Well. Good luck. Son of a bitch. That selfish stuffed animal. Well, we are gonna have to find some shit. All right. Well, let's assume it's in the flowers. This room has a lot of windows. Oh, this is the blinds, not the flowers. Huh. They probably wanted it to feel tropical and open. Well, this isn't really the time to be grateful for that. We're looking for stuff. What is this? Looks like a shelf. I feel like I shouldn't put anything here. Okay. Oh, is that the stuffed animal up there? I think I found it, guys. Wherever I go, there are surveillance cameras all over the place. Whoever's controlling Monokuma must be monitoring us with these cameras, too. Indeed. It pisses me off to think I'm being watched by a lunatic. There's nothing I can do about it. Except for find the Monokuma doll. We did it. Nailed it. Huh? Tain hidden Monokuma. Out. Sweet. Yo, I got ten coins for that? Sick. Good job. I've also left you some mana coins. I'm so generous. These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and at the Rocket Punch Market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places, too, so do your best and look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise! What? Never mind, I should just go. So there's stuffed animals laid throughout the game, huh? Well, this is going to be interesting. <sighs> anyway, okay, let's finish examining everything in here. Monokuma contacts us through these monitors. I really want to break it, but who knows what would happen if I did. Guess i got to leave it alone. Break the rules and he breaks you, apparently. This bed is pretty comfortable. Okay. Cool. Ooh, there's a bathroom with a glass windows. What the hell? There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and it looks easy to use, but I've never really felt comfortable showering. Well, it's this kind of situation after all. Indeed. Can we leave now? Alright, cool. Also, it looks like the Monokuma that I found is in my room. Also, ah, what? Ah! Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I can say the same for you, bro. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Damn it. Oh, man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh. The bridge, you know? Remember that bridge at the Central Island? Did something happen to it? <sighs> no shit. Why else would I be here? This is bad. Those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're, they're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters. They're mono beasts. <sighs> oh, my God, it's here. The cool. Mono Beasts are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. Those monsters are his gatekeepers. It's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it. Ugh, so annoying. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip, man. Your face is getting weird. Aw, man. Your eyes are literally melting. <laughs> I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We're gonna be eaten, but get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can get enjoy vacationing here now. Hey, hey, what's with all the noise? <sighs> ah, another monster! <laughs> and I came all the way here to get you both. But if you're going to call me a monster, uh, you're here to get us? Well, obviously. I was told to come get you because we kept waiting, and the two of you never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. 
hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant? Damn it! Ugh, whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here! Hey, where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuchi sprinted away like lightning. Guess I'll head over to the restaurant. Okay, I don't know where he would have fucking went, but I guess we'll just go to the restaurant also. I wonder if we can find some more of his bears just chilling around here. Or I wonder if it's like only they'll show up in certain chapters. I don't know. I would assume that in the you know locations that are open to you already, you can find all the bears that are available. I just don't know if they're going to be in areas like this where you have to like actually walk around and look for shit. I guess I won't worry about it for now. For now, we're going to the hotel, kitchen, restaurant thing to see what everybody else is doing, baby. Let's do it. Hmm. You're late, Hajime, and where is Kazuchi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... What? Running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run away. What a weirdo. Sorry, that wasn't, low. that wasn't high enough pitch of a voice, but my throat is killing me already. I'm dying already, man. However, after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening, and even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. <laughs> Understand. Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. Nope, not even a little bit. <sighs> Be a lot easier to deal with if all I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. So, why have you gathered us here? Not yet. Not until Kazuchi arrives. Uh, wait a sec. That means the reason you told us to come here is. Pointing! We! Apparently, Monsieur Biakuya has something to tell us! Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible. There's, there's no way we can fight that thing. I, I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit. Anything is possible with fighting spirit. Let me tell you this. A bold boast. However, let me get, give you some advice. The truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Let's start talking already. <laughs> hmm. This is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Jeez. Ah, jeez, fine. I'll just bring Kazuchi myself, then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here. Even if I have to tie him up. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Mihiru. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I should run away, too. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Disgusting moron. That's fine. Now, then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. <laughs> let's eat! <laughs> The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from, anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. <laughs> uh, they even have crab and shrimp? Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mike and his ugly, stuttering face. <laughs> my, my ugly, stuttering face? Wow. That's it. That face right there. Oh, Mike. Well, why are you being so mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love and torment, aren't you? You should stop now. Oh! Oh, I get it. Terra Terra prepared this food, right? <laughs> um, unfortunately, it wasn't me. You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. Oh, and... <laughs> um... <laughs> this is bad? It tastes yummy to me. No, 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 no. Just no, no, no. yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense. In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food, how rude! Hey, don't take it so personally, man. I understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What? What does this mean? Or what well does that mean? Done. Well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. Oh, jeez, okay. He may... <laughs> He salts the bays and makes the panties drop. I got you. I got you. There's no mistaking it. <laughs> well then. No subtle in this jokes. No subtlety in these jokes. Yes. I said no subtle in this jokes. And then I changed it to what it should be. <laughs> I can't talk anymore, dude. My throat is dying already. In fact, your panties would drop too. Like the black thong Miss Pecco is wearing, for example. What did you say? You creep. 
How do you know about that? Oh shit! Confirmation. Nailed it. He guessed correctly. However. <laughs> However, if Teru Teru did not prepare this food, then the one who did is. <sighs> Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison to make sure it's safe for consumption. <laughs> but you don't need to eat that much to take it for poison, bro. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy, hey, straight up a little bit more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh, man. Stop! Don't pull! You're gonna rip my sleeves! <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Careful. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I just want to go home already! What the hell? Hello? What just happened? What the... Oh shit. <laughs> what? How did she get her legs all tangled up? What the fuck? Hello? Oh no. I tripped. Can you even call that tripping? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. We, we should help her up. What the fuck just happened? Are you okay? Are, are, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> My head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Uh, anyway, everybody's here now, right? Let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I am not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. I would have never dreamed of Fat Biakuya. This is going to be an amazing balance between being a snobby bitch and a hungry fat fuck. Oh, it's going to be good times. It's going to be good times. Let's just go straight forward. We ain't got time to mince right now. Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other, right? So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you'd better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do you need? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No, you've forgotten about shitting! <laughs> Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit! Hmm. What? Oh, amazing. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Bond? I... That is what I believe. As long as the Ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll, be, you'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Gross. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How's he not embarrassed? <laughs> Uh, just as I figured, that was kind of lame, huh? However... However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemies as individuals, under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciplined leadership, provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. I see. Even sports teams need captains, after all. Rejoice. <laughs> Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Um, who died and made you king, fatty? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction, and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait just a second. What? What is it? Jeez. What did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own, and why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than I? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Mihiru, please wait. It's true that Bayuka Byakuya might be a little forceful, but given our current situation... I believe he's uh, he's the uh, leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But that may be true. But 
we just need someone who can lead people, and even Sonya can... No. No, perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. It's all clear. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> so reliable! It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time, I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. It's at Jabberwock Park at the Central Island. Come, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. <clears throat> Though everyone made simple compl similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Whew, boy, I'm getting fucking exhausted right now. I'm gonna go outside. So do I have to walk all the way over there? I better hurry and follow after Byakuya. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. So, I'm thinking about taking my sweet-ass time to get over there. Because I'm thinking we're probably going to call it an episode. I'm going to walk over there naturally, not going to teleport. Maybe something will happen along the way, that's fine. Let's talk to this guy real quick, maybe. What are you doing? You should hurry over to the park. Oh, that's me. What are you doing? You should hurry over to the park. Ah! Wah! Didn't the same thing happen last time, too? Hey! Hajime, how many times are you going to surprise me? I just spoke to you normally, man. Anyway, you should hurry over to the park. Shut up! I'm going back to my room. Seriously, this is all just one big hassle. Ah, damn it! Seriously, if we're on Tropical Paradise, then why are we in a situation in the first place? Isn't that right? Isn't a vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? Relax, man. Snapping at me won't change a thing, okay? Hey! Jime, it's decided. You better come to the beach with me later. Huh? For coconuts, damn it! I saw some big ones that fell onto the shore. I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice. We can't, you can't just will a coconut open, bro. Just give up and go get some coconut juice from the supermarket. Ah, uh, you just don't understand. Fine, be that way. I'm never gonna ask for your help again. Left, I'll be going straight to the park. Now then, I should hurry too. Should I though? Am I really in that big of a hurry? I don't think I am. I think I'm about to call this an episode here in a minute. Before that, though, I kind of feel like I should go to the lobby and see if I can find a Monokuma um, doll. Might as well take a quick look around, right? See if I can find any Monokuma dolls laying around. Just for funsies. Oh, shit. Not everybody left, either. What the hell? There's people just chilling around here. Well, shit, maybe I'll just talk to some people then instead. Hello. Huh? Do not tell me. You too. Huh? Me too. What are you talking about? Um... Oh, Miss Mahiru has asked me to take a leadership position. Jeez. Well, Byaku is being too forceful about leading us. Doesn't that raise a red flag? Hey, hey! Please, Sonya, think about it again. Don't you think you should be a leader, the leader instead? Um... I am certain that I am ill-suited to be one. I... Furthermore, though Byakuya may be forceful, I believe he has the qualities to be an effective leader. Huh? Uh, really? Please listen! Do, not, do you not remember what he said about being destined to stand above all others? He is truly attempting to fulfill that destiny by strength of his will, the strength of his own will. <laughs> his impressive stature and physique is a testament to his desire to be the ultimate affluent progeny, no? Um... That is truly grand. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Hmm... You put it like that, Sonya, it does sound convincing. Hey, hey! Okay, I understand. I'm sorry for being so pushy, Sonya. No. No, it is simply a matter of regal discretion. discretion. Okay. Then... Now then, let us also proceed to the park as well. Okay. Hmm. I'm sure the situation isn't going to, like, change anytime soon. Well, if the Ultimate Princess decrees it, I guess Byakuya can be the leader. Indeed, I guess she can, and he can, and we can. I don't see any Monokuma dolls here. I'm going to go back upstairs real quick in the, the hotel restaurant. And just double check that there wasn't one up here that I missed. Oh, people didn't even leave, dude. Some people didn't even leave, dude. Anyway, I'm not seeing any dolls in here either. 
Not any obvious ones, anyway. Well, let's talk to these two people, and then we'll call it an episode. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> okay, are you done talking, sir? Let's go, my four dark divas of destruction! We must travel to the end of the Earth, to Jabberwock Park! No need to shout, just hurry up and go, bro. By you. You don't have to pay attention to me, so just go. I'll catch up with you soon. I'm busy stuffing my fat face. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I can't help it. When I get hungry, I lose most of my energy. So... After she said that, Akane ate the entire pile of food on her plate in one gulp. Ugh. Man, that was good. You ate so fast, I doubt you even tasted it. Uh... Uh, what happened? Are you choking? Damn it. Crap. Now that I've eaten a little bit, I'm even hungrier. What? So annoying. Jeez, Byakuya better finish this talk fast, because once he's done, I'll eat as much as I can. Guess I should go for now. Are you done? Let's go, jump Yeah, okay. You done. Alright, well, that was fun. Um, guys, this game has opened up and become all the more intriguing and amazing, exactly like I expected it to be. Monokuma is here to make everything awesome, as I was hoping and dreaming. Not that I thought it was going to be Monokuma, but I'm glad it is. We can't have Danganronpa without him. Alright, guys. I'm, I've, I've had enough for today. My throat is dying, if you couldn't tell. And playing this in Persona 5 was clearly a horrible idea. And I'm going to feel dumb for doing it, but it's happening. Oh, it's happening. And we'll, uh... Go to the park next time and see what Byakuya's plans are, because I'm interested to see what he, he plans. And I'm also curious to see how long it takes before someone kills somebody. I don't think it's going to take long. It didn't take long last time either, but we'll see. We'll see who gets paranoid first. It's hard to pick one who's going to die first or who's going to, you know, fuck up first. So it'll be interesting to see who, who breaks first, who breaks first. All right, enough talking for me. See you guys in the next one. Peace!